Hi, everybody. I am uh, Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com. And I'm here with the very talented Zuri Johnson. And we're going to do some Halloween designs, part of our Halloween themes that we got coming up. And um, we're going to do monsters. Monsters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no. What happened? I'm trying to share you, but don't, I'm here. Don't, 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 don't be messing with it. Oh, Lord. Um, and so, uh, like we did last time, uh, we had a free giveaway uh, for, we'll, we'll, I'll give you the link at the end of it. So you have to watch all of Zuri, and then I'll send you a link to a, a place to get some free face paint. And uh, the last last week's winner was Val Daft. I don't know if that's a real name, but it, that was the name that was used. Um, so anyway, we sent her some paint. Um, and so if you watch this webinar, you get a chance to get some free paint. Um, <laughs> And uh, so with that, I think I will give it away, give it to Zuri. Take it away, Zuri. Okay. Hello, everybody. Let's get uh, painting. I did a few looks and my theme is monster. So we're gonna do a few monster looks because you know, it's October and Halloween's just around the corner. And hopefully we make Halloween the best for our kids this year as much as we can. Um, but let's get started. We are going to use Crazy Effects paints. And we're going to start with. What's our first monster? They're monsters. They're, I don't know. They're just weird looking. <laughs> we got people from the UK, people from Israel. All right. For the, first off, I'm just going to outline my monster, so I'm gonna grab some Crease FX white and we're gonna outline it. So when we do monsters, when I do monsters, I don't like to go from on the bottom lip. I like to keep it up and over the nose. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna outline the crazy eyeballs here. Need some more water. Working on the um on the board, you need a different consistency in your brush. Mm -hmm. Gonna go around. And just because I know people are gonna ask, what what uh, what size brush is that? Two. This, this is a Silly Farm Swirl Three. Okay, it's a Silly Farm Swirl Three. Got it. So I'm trying to make the eyeballs as even as possible. That's about good. So I can work with that. <laughs> now, next, I'm gonna do the mouth. And I'm gonna start all the way up here and we're gonna make the mouth go across the nose a little bit out here. And then we're going to take it down above the bottom lip right there, okay? Then the first thing I like to work on is the teeth because you know, teeth are fun. And I want to put them exactly where I want them. So I'm gonna take my white face paint and make some sharp teeth. So you have two big ones right over the nose. And then we're gonna make some small ones on the side here, about four of those and about three on this side. I, with my art, I'm, I'm not really symmetrical with mine. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know, I guess the way I do it. And we're gonna have three above the lip here and including neat. the lip interesting yes including the lip uh -huh. so if, if you put the lip the teeth on the bottom lip you're gonna have when you open your mouth you can the teeth are gonna divide <laughs> exactly so, can't do that good. yeah i like to go over the nose the nose you could do a lot with hmm. so i'm gonna leave some space here because i'm gonna create a tongue monster tongue. So I, I left some space right here. So let's go ahead and fill in the teeth with white. And I'm still using the same brush. A little quick fill in here. Here we go. You don't need to outline it at first. You can always just make the tooth and keep it going. Mm -hmm. 
All right, next, going to fill in the eye, but I'm not gonna cover the whole eye. So, so when your child opens their eyes, they have their own pupil, but I'm gonna make some veins going in the eye. So when they open their eyes, they just look like they have big, big, big eyes. This Maria in. says you're a rock star doing monsters. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It is one of my favorite things to paint. Okay, next we're going to go to Crazy Effects Neon Palette. Here, I'm usually, I can either use this one or this one, but I'm going to use this one for this look. I'm going to take a flat brush. Um, this says 11, but it's not, this is like a paintbrush, not really a face. Like, like a one inch? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, one inch. Okay. Flat brush. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try to take all the colors off this one inch and just go back and forth until I have all colors nicely on the brush. Hopefully that's enough, okay. And I'm going to go around. Um, here's a question that came in. Uh, do you, uh, from Lucy, do you have a tip to paint under the eyes of a child? Um, use, um, it's right here. These are my favorite to use, Mayron Star Blends. So instead mm -hmm. of making, instead of making the white face paint around the eyes, you could do white um, Star Blend. Mm -hmm. Apply it with this right okay. here. Okay, a smoothie blender. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so right here, I'm going light first, and I'm going to go around the mouth, and I'm probably just going to do a little squiggly and going around, and it's going to go on the child's upper lip. I mean, I'm sorry, lower lip. Mm -hmm. And I need to load. And I'm just going to do the squiggly. Can you all see? So, mm -hmm. Here we go. And I'm going to bring it up around the eye and kind of curve it in right there. Because we're going to make some, some hair, some monster hair. So I am loading again. And I'm going to go around the other eye. and kind of bring it up here. Light first. And I'm gonna color it in. Just do a squiggle line. So you just get all the color, the whole split cake. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have like a nice neon <laughs> monster here. All right, next I'm just gonna use the same brush. So I'm just gonna clean it off. I'm sorry, just keep it in, keep it in the camera. And I'm going to the Craze Effects green. So it's not the neon, it's the regular face paint. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up all the colors I can. And we're gonna make some monster here with this color. So this monster can like re relate to like maybe a scary pumpkin or something mm -hmm. because of the colors. All right, I'm gonna do light first. Usually the highlight is on top, but this time I'm gonna do dark on top. And we're gonna swoop down and give him some hair. And we're gonna go right on top again. And another one. So you got all those colors in, in the split cake mm -hmm. as there. Go on to the other side pick up some more paint and the light side on the bottom. That's just how I prefer it for this. You could do it the other way too. And like this, there we go. Make this a little longer. All right, so we have the base down. 
Next, we are going to give the eyeballs some definition. We're going to use red. My favorite red is, I think this is global colors. Yes, it's mm -hmm. global colors red. Okay, that looks beat to heck. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. It's so red. That's red. Yeah. yeah, even when you put on the skin, some reds. It'll be red in the in the pot, but once you put it on the skin, it's a total different color. So let's make some veins in the eyeballs. So we're just gonna go down and we're gonna go all around. You don't have to be the same. You want them to be a little different. So they have veins around the eyes. So when it's on the kid's face, the paint will be around the eye, not on the eye. So mm -hmm. open the eyes. So makes their eyes look really, really, really big. Well, that's key. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Tom. All right. Keep going around to your. Oh. Uh, Tom loves that red for the same reason. Oh, thanks. Yes. The reddest red. So I use it for blood and all that it doesn't change any color on any skin i could put a red down and it'll turn magenta on my skin that's like what happened so all right so we got the eye down next we're going to going to fill in the mouth area and i'm going to take the a little bigger got the crazy effects round three brush and we're gonna fill in the mouth. I love these brushes too. They're very good. Good job, Blake. Thanks. <laughs> Amanda and Beth had a lot to do with it. I hope she's watching. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fill that in. All red. And then we're gonna mm -hmm. shade it with black. So if you see me using my fingers, Please do not do that on children. As you know, COVID's around. So you would use, I'll show you what to use later, but I'm definitely gonna be using my fingers on the board, just FYI. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm filling this in. And I, I don't wanna show any of the white, so I'm gonna fill that in with black later. Okay. And we're gonna make our tongue a different color. When I practiced this look, I, I had to think of a different tongue for this one. So I'm gonna do that on the fly. Let's see what color I'm gonna make the tongue. Okay, that's all filled in. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Now we're what gonna do you, make... What do you call this creature? Zombie? Um, I call it just a monster. Monster, yes. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brianna. She she got the uh, crazed brushes too. Appreciate it. Thank you for that. Yeah, very good. I really like them. So we're gonna make a tongue. So I'm gonna do a pink. Um. Tongue so here. so we, you were using the global for that, right? So they asked, are the products creamy? I think the global and all of them are wax based ones. So I would have said yes to that. Someone asked, yep. are these face paints creamy? Oh, yeah. This is what it looks like. Very old. But mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, it lasts for a long time, as you see. Okay, I'm going to. Someone said it almost looks like a pumpkin with uh, green leaves yes. for hair. Yes, yes, it's like a scary pumpkin. Yeah. Monster pumpkin. So today I'm doing monsters. I'm just making. All right, let's just mix these together. I need a darker color. <laughs> this is crazy right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make a big tongue and I want it like a bumpy nasty looking tongue like that there we go all right and let's move on to the squiggly line yes yeah, so again this is crazy effects here right now mm -hmm. and I'm going to use this what is this global colors again there we go 
Uh -huh. Use this to make some squiggly lines. So I'm going to try to make him as yucky as possible. So I'm going to sure. do some squiggly lines here. Mm -hmm. It can be totally random. It doesn't matter how they look. So I'm just going to maybe split it, kind of look like veins a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go all around using my crazy effects. Leora <laughs> likes your, uh, uh, her kid likes your pumpkin monster. They're calling it oh, pumpkin monster. I think it's yeah. officially now known as pumpkin monster. Yes, yeah, it's a pumpkin monster. I like that. It's pumpkin Please monster. Tell him thank you very much. There you go. And I would definitely put this on my menu when I face paint, especially for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Not this season, but next season. Okay, so that's going all around with these little veiny looking swirls. And this, um, half of this is neon. So if you did the whole look neon and it would glow in the dark, super awesome. Crease effects has awesome neon. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Quite well. it's a, it was a she that likes this, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. She, my bad. <laughs> Okay. It was a good guess. <laughs> My bad. Okay, we did some swirls around the face. And next I want to do more with the with the mouth. So I'm going to take my Liao Cor Cornell <laughs> brush. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do black. So with this, you can use a makeup brush or the round brush for the kid, I can't find it, but today on the board, I'm using my hand. So I'm hand, putting in black here, right? And then I'm just gonna blend it with my finger, but don't do that on kids. No, uh -uh. See how it blends out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's fill that in more. Okay, so I'm gonna do that all around. I'm gonna try to blend with my brush. Okay. So I'm just pressing in hard at the top and then letting it flare out when I'm going into the mouth there. So I'm just trying to make a nice dark mouth, but I didn't want it all black. So I'm gonna to have to fade it out. Okay. There we go. Trying to do this as fast as I can. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Was you it your anniversary up? yesterday? My anniversary? Yeah. There was a reason we couldn't do it Monday. What was the reason we couldn't do it Monday? Oh. Honestly, Blake, I don't remember. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh yes, no, I know why. Cause my he he works. He's off Tuesday and Wednesdays. Okay. Yeah, he he's off Tuesday and Wednesdays. And if it wasn't for him, my son will be right next to me, saying, "Mommy, mommy." <laughs> so I need I needed him home. I gotcha. Yeah, that was it. No, I didn't have to work or anything like that. Our anniversary. I got yeah, I have to go live on another adult is yeah. All right, there we go. So I did the mouth. You see it, how it's all dark and spooky and scary. Mm -hmm. It's looking very cool, says Sharla. Thank you so much, Sharla. Okay. Uh, and, Zuri, where are you on Instagram? Zuri FX. Zuri FX. Yeah, I'm Zuri FX on absolutely every platform. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this palette or this just split click here. This is um, Professional Colors Aqua Face and Body Makeup. I don't know if they make any more. I don't know. Like, Who does? Who is this? This is Professional Colors Aqua. I got it I've from- I've never heard of them. I got it, I believe I got it from your website. I, I know, but 
professional color. Oh, that could be um, that could be uh, global. Oh, it's global because it says professional colors. But they have professional colors. I mean, no party explosion. That's party explosion. Party explosion. Okay, this is party explosion. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna fill in the yellow. So I grab some of the yellow from the split cake. I'm gonna make my teeth yellow. Mm -hmm. when they're yellow, it's ugly. And we want ugly. Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight. We need ugly. Okay. Ugly. Ugly. I'm gonna fill in these to make them more more detail to them. Right. About this foot cake here, it's so deep. Like it's yeah. the whole entire It is. Thing. Yeah, interesting. I've had it for so long and I still didn't like yeah, so it's really good. Thank you, Blake. Sure. <laughs> we still carry your party explosion. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. So they're nasty white, whitish yellow. All right. Next, we are going to do some outlining. And we're going to use Craze Black. Mm -hmm. Black. And we're going to use number three. I wish I had number two. Oh, of course. It's all me. Okay. So we're going to use number three. Okay. For. You know what? Switching. I need a smaller brush. Oops. Sorry, I need a smaller brush. I used the little Cornell round one for this. For the outline. The outline, mm -hmm. I still want to do some shading because I don't want it just a crisp outline. But I'm going to use my hand again. So I'm going to go around the eye. And I'm just going to fade that out with my finger. But to you, use a makeup brush or something so you're not touching the face as much. And I'm just gonna edge it out, make it crazy looking. I love doing crazy looks, so. Fair enough. Fair enough, okay, good. All right. Edge it out with my fingers on the board and only the board. Okay. So you got the eyeballs. Bam. Eyeballs are done. Okay. Next I want to outline the mouth. Mm-hmm. Getting right underneath those teeth. Yeah, the yellow teeth do bring up the scariness, Natasha. Yeah. And I'm going to do some, some lines right at the root of the teeth. So I'm just going to go like that. Maybe one, two here. Just so it's noticeable. What is mm -hmm. this? Here. All right. Use one or two in the teeth so you can just make it pop. Outline the teeth, of course. Ooh, that was my head. My hand is jiggling. That's mean I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You've done this before, right? Zuri. You face painted before. I know. That's the. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to outline them to give them more of a crisp. There we go. All right, for the um, the tongue, <clears throat> for the tongue here, I'm gonna make it as bumpy and nasty as possible. So I'm gonna go in and scoop it in, so I get some a bumpy tongue. Mm -hmm. Quite nasty looking. But that's all about Halloween, being as crazy as you can be. <laughs> and some lines in between. 
this is my tongue and then I'm, we are going to highlight it in a moment. In my, we're going to give our monster a <laughs> some So violin. how long would that take you if you were doing it on a real live human being yeah, in, a, in a line? Yeah, without explaining and doing all that, probably yeah. eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes. That's what I say. But also, I haven't face painted a child in so long. I miss it so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm a, Everybody likes the tongue. Yay. Yes, yeah, so it's a little nasty looking. Okay, so next, I'm going to outline the outside and I'm still going to do the shading. So I'm going to zigzag my way down and shade it in. Yeah, please. Not on children's faces, but if you paint on your own face, obviously. Obviously. But the boards are so easy for me to shade with my finger. So that's why I do it. Shade just a little bit here. There we go. Over here. So this monster has some detail, but not so much, because I know I could do a monster and it could take an hour. So, yeah. So, I try to do some designs that only take me about not that long. So, I'm going to outline the hair. Of course. There we go. Yeah. Hello, California. Hello, Gainesville. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's safe and chilling. Mm -hmm. Acosta's. Okay. Um, all right. I did do a little highlight around the mouth. So what I did was I just grabbed the yellow neon here and I just did dots to highlight around the mouth. Okay, above, our monster has no nose and some highlights. So I highlighted the mouth. I'm gonna highlight a little around here because this, it kind of cut off the yellow for the split gig. Yeah. All right, so we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna do highlights. To me, highlighting is very important in looks because it creates an illusion. So we're going to take our white craze effects. Well, it's not what it looks like now. The craze effects now looks like in a, in a round. So I just got. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, those those small ones. Yeah, the old ones that I still have in hardly broke pan. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the hair. So I'm going to go on top of each stroke with my white. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna highlight, very tedious, but you need to highlight some of these swirls here. But the tediousness is fast. <laughs> that makes mm -hmm. sense. <laughs> so I was gonna highlight some of these. Now I'll just, so you can see. As you see, the white brings out the, the little veins more. Okay. So let me um make this a little dark. I need these a little darker. A little more mysterious. There we go. That's better. All right. Okay, highlight the... I like the tongue. So basically we're just highlighting right now. And mm -hmm. usually that's the last thing I do on looks is highlight. Highlight the tongue. And obviously you can make it this your own. You can make it any color you want. And if you do all neon, 
he, it'll glow in the dark. So, I mean, glow in black light. So that's awesome too. All right, I think, let's see, anything else for this look? I don't think so. All right, this look is good. Mm -hmm. that, that did not take a half an hour, no it didn't. Okay, this is done, next. Our next. Okay, <laughs> while you're switching, let me uh, bring up a couple oh. webinars that we got going on. So we're going to be back to Mondays. Um, so Pam Kinnenberg is going to be here on Monday for doing Halloween boy designs. Then we're going to have uh, Mandy Gibson um, doing Halloween 101 on October. Uh, no, sorry, Linnea is going to be doing on October 19th. And Mandy Gibson Halloween 101 is going to be on October 26th. So please join us and um, we'll be thrilled to have you. All righty. Yeah. And hang on, by the way, if you guys haven't been paying attention, hang on for the free uh, face paint giveaway at the end. Yeah, that was definitely exciting. Yeah. I was like, Ooh, who's going to win? <laughs> who's going to win the free face paint yeah. giveaway? All right, our next look is a purple blob. That's what I call it. A purple, purple blob. blob. Nice. Purple. So we're going to make, we're going to start at the top, right? Start at the top and we're going mm -hmm. to go around the face. And I'm just going to make a loop here. So it'll just remind me to, to highlight it later. So we're going to go down, make another big loop around the child's face. And then we're going to bring it down, make another loop right here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to outline the mouth. At this one, I'm going to go this one can go from the bottom lip to the top lip but i'm just gonna do it like this for now okay and we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna not gonna make it all straight so we're just gonna make another loop here go down loop it all the way down loop Oh, somebody wants to see the UV light on the first monster. Oh, I took the monster off. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. I have another um, neon monster I'm doing next. So okay. I'll talk about that. You have a black light? I have a big black light, but it's still white outside. So I don't know what justice it will do. Yeah, there's that problem. Yeah. <laughs> I could try though. Purple blob. This okay. is our purple blob here. Right. Purple blob's still going to have a tongue, so I'm going to make a little thing for that. And then, like, it's just dripping everywhere. It's just yucky. Okay. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and we're going to fill in the blob with the same purple from Praise Effects. Mm -hmm. Too much water. There we go. And I'm just going to hurry and fill this in. Beautiful purple. I really like it. Purple is my favorite color. So. You and Prince. <laughs> so I'm making some room above the eye because I'm going to use some white. But other than that, I'm filling in the whole face. Using a flat brush. But if it was on a child, it's probably good to use a sponge or a flat brush. Up to you. When I do the base coat for kids, I like to be that to be the fastest thing I do. You want them in and out the chair. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe for these loops, I should use a round brush. But it's all right. Oh, blob, B L O B. Maria, yeah. Maria doesn't understand. That's not a common term for her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was like late 80s or early 90s yeah the movie called blob i think it was and the 50s it's really an old movie it was really old yeah and i, I believe i watched it a few times and it's, i got it was just so mesmerizing like wow it was a good movie <clears throat> okay so yeah, I, I left the eyes open a little bit i don't want to fill it in too much okay next i'm going to take I think it was this I used. 
I'm gonna use not the white, just the blue, purple in the in the light lighter blue. I'm going to clean the same brush that I was using, and we're gonna try to gather up just those three. And this is the Crazy Effects palette neon palette. Okay, and just the edges. I just want to do a little bit of blue around mm -hmm. it. Just on the sides, not much, just to give it a little bit more um, to it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Give a little structure to the blob. Yeah, a little structure to the blob. On the bottom here, just a little bit. More, there we go. Next, I'm going to, I used a sponge for this. Didn't have the correct color I wanted, so I'm gonna use the purple I just had. And I'm gonna use. I'm gonna apply the purple, and I'm gonna do a little bit white, just so I can get a light purple here, so we can do the highlight. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm gonna go on the forehead, just like you're highlighting for makeup. Oh. Forehead, nose area. Right. And cheeks. All right. Good. A nice little highlight for the blob. Okay. Next, we're going to take Grace Effects brush number one and take the black. Oh, no. Rewind. Just white first. Let me do the teeth. Our, our blob is going to have buck teeth. Teeth. Buck teeth. I loved it. I was like, ooh, I love the buck teeth. Nice. So one, oh, two buttons. One tooth and two teeth. That's what that's my buck teeth for my blob here. And then we're going to make the eye just like we did for our last look. A little bit underneath here. And I would love to do these looks for y'all and post it in the face paint group, like on my, on myself. Sure. So you know exactly what they look like. Okay, so we got that down. Now we can do the black. So it's going to look like our blob is melting. So I'm going to take the black and I'm going to make melting just like that. Go over here, it's melting. It has a melting forehead, so it's some squiggly lines here. Go down, loop in. So it looks like it's Clearly melting. Trying to do this fast as I can. Okay. There we go. And on the bottom, you just want to outline the drops. There we go. Now I'm just trying to do it. A little faster because I see the time. I don't know why the time went so fast. <laughs> so. Somebody said it looks like mucus right now, the, the teeth. Oh, nice. That's funny. I'm telling you, <laughs> the, nastier, the nastier, the better when it comes to Halloween for me. I want it to make people go, ew. I really do. Yeah, well, that's the, you're on the right track. <laughs> Look like a big booger, especially if you made it green. Okay, so I made some some squiggly lines to make it look like it's melting. Okay, you can mm -hmm. do as much as you want. That's about it for good. And we're gonna fill in the mouth black foot first, uh, using the Craze Effect Neon Split Cake. I'm gonna make a green tongue, and I'm gonna mix these colors together. So I have a nice, bright, 
green. He's good and drippy. Yeah. Well, maybe I used the base first. I did. All right, let's just do this real quick. Big green tongue. We're going to carve that in. I'm going to add some yellow into this one, just so it's not translucent. Here we go. Highlight it a little bit. A nice ugly tongue and curve it into the mouth. And next we're going to fill in the mouth all black. Let me make a little curve in there for the tongue. Here we go. Awesome. Fill that in nice and black, so it's good. You don't need to do no shading or anything like that. And above the mouth. Looks like a ghost blob. Okay. Um, next, gonna go above the eye and give it a little bit of like an eye socket here. Like so. And of course, outline the rest of the eye. I'm not doing straight lines here, that's okay. All right, so we got the base and the outline down. Go above the here and outline the outline the tongue. Nice neon tongue. Okay, and for the tongue, I just basically put dots to make it look nasty. That'd be a perfect neon green tongue, somebody said, Maria said. Yeah, right. I did use the neon for this, but I but since it's on this board, I had to mix it to make it more bold. Mm -hmm. But on the skin, it looks great. Okay, so that's the tongue. Next and last, we're doing the highlight. So the highlight is the last thing I do for every look. Someone calls it a slime monster. Slime monster, yeah, it could be anything. I try to just, you know. I like the blob. I'm with you with blob. the blob. I'm you know the, the, blob. Mo the movie Blob? That was the 80s, right? Yeah. That was the 80s, yes. Okay. And uh, I'm go in, in every drip, I'm going to go and highlight it up. You can highlight the whole thing, or you can stick to one side. So I'm probably just going to do both because the highlights will be on the outside here and you could do it any color any color because purple was good for today mm -hmm. outline it okay and that is your blob making sure i don't I'm not forgetting any detail above there all the white should always be on top of the darker color That the highlights are on top. Okay, and I made a big triangle here to indicate that it's, you know, glistening or glowing in the light here. All right, this is our blob. There you go. Right, next, coming next. Okay. Oh, one other thing. Um, we do have a specials on facepaint.com. So we've got a 20% off uh, scary 20 is the code for Halloween. So store wide. So it's a good time to get face paint. Wow. I need some pros aid. Got some pros aid. <laughs> yeah, we do. In fact. Yes. That's what I need. All right. Um, our next look is like a, a real monster pretty much. Okay, so we're going to use a swirl brush. We're going to 
make four eyeballs. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Take neon split cake and we're gonna outline it with the orange. So I'm just gonna grab the orange and we're gonna go all around the eye, just like so. We're gonna cover her eyeballs. All right, this one I can definitely try to plug in my, try to plug it in the uh, black light. But with the black light, it's a cool story. My black light is 48 inches. Mm -hmm. 48 inches, it's pretty big. And I got it for $5 at thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the books I use my black light. So that's pretty good. If it was dark, I'll definitely have my black light. Okay, that's orange and in the middle, we're gonna make it yellow. I'm just gonna grab the yellow and fill that in. Kind of blend them together. All right, it's gonna. Okay. And I can't wait to do, do these looks on, on my actual face. So Blake, you'll be getting an email. <laughs> right. so just, okay. I forgot to do the, we're gonna do some eyes on the cheek here. I'm gonna grab the orange again. And go outside because I got that money detail. Okay. There you go. So we have orange and yellow eyes. So, and if it glows in the dark, that's super spooky, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that is spooky. Yeah. All right. So I got the eyeballs here. Next, I'm going to use the green split cake from the neon. I'm going to mm -hmm. take a flat brush here. Clean it. Okay. Try not to use. Okay. And we're going to try to gather all colors. With these boards, you definitely need a different consistency with the brush. Yeah, okay. for sure. Just trying to get that right here. Okay, so we're gonna make the eyebrows. I'm gonna go and go right above the eye. I'm gonna scoop down, go over, bring it up. Make sure the dark side is on the bottom like I didn't do. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and scoop down. So this is like his eyebrows here. Then I'm going to do another line here. I'm trying to make it as straight as possible. And I'm going to bring it up. And another line here. Mm -hmm. and bring it up and then I'm going to connect those two lines with a nice bumpy forehead okay then I'm gonna fill it in and I'm only using the light side of the brush that's why I can fill it in mm -hmm. okay all right, next I'm going to make a line from the eye underneath the first eye. So I'm gonna go down like this and bring it down like that. I can try to do the black light with this one. And do the same thing on the other side, the lighter inside, go right underneath the eye and bring it down. Okay, then the nose. For Some people would call this an insect face. Oh yeah? Yeah. And just to give you a time warning, we got about 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, I did not get to do all my looks. <laughs> Does anybody? I know. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna fill that in with just the light side. 
That's okay. I'm going to do all the looks and I'm going to send it to you, Blake. Okay, cool. Okay. And then for the mouth, it could be like um, a monster. You got to use your imagination. A monster mm -hmm. snake or anything. Mm -hmm. and a point here. And a little point here. And there we go. Fill that in. All right. The outline is done. Next, we are going to work on the eyes. And we're going to take, okay, take the black and we're going to do snake eyes. So that's just one pretty good slit in the middle mm -hmm. from big to small. Well, As Stefania sorry. thinks that the, she likes the colors and the combination, she thinks they're really bright. Thank you so much. And it'll, this will all glow in black light. Mm hmm Yeah. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to outline outline the eyes. And with the eyes, I want to do a little flip at the end here. And I'm going to shade in the black with my finger, but if you do it on a child, you use a makeup brush. And I like to shade as soon as I put the line down because the line is still wet. Once it's dry, you can't really do much with it. So, try to do it fast. Okay. Well, this is an awesome return. Thanks, Blake. Sure. Awesome return. I was yeah. like, yes, monsters? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fill that in. The blend is what makes it really spooky. Mm -hmm. The blend is not the best right now, but you get the gist. That's right. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Then I got a stencil. These stencils are, I, I don't remember. Bam, st stencils, right? That bam. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna take this, put it right on the forehead, gather a green. I'll use this one. Gather a green. I'm just gonna use the dark green of this one. Sure. Edge. Why not? Why not? Okay. With the board, is you got to just check if it's too wet. See, that's too wet, so I have to dab it somewhere else, mm -hmm. reload, because it will bleed right on to add some scaly things on its forehead. Carefully take it off. There we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. Ace says boards are hard to get to dry. It's all good. Yeah. It's Maybe all good. They don't really dry the way okay. other things dry. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take my round brush and I'm going to use the same split cake. Mm -hmm. And kind of just define my one strokes just a little bit more. Make it a little darker. It has a nice dark green on here. I like it. Real navy green. Just real quick, there we go. And on top, but on top, I'm going to squiggle it. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our little monster here is gonna have some teeth hanging down the bottom lip of the child. Everybody likes the snake eyes. So what's the okay. key on snake eyes? I mean, they're not the best snake eyes, but thank you. <laughs> mm. the, the snake eyes, um, I guess, I don't, I, like, I don't like doing snake eyes when they're white. They have to be mm -hmm. color, colors in it. Right. Okay, so we got some teeth here. All right. 
And we're going to make some daily dots. Oh, Nancy, uh, just so you know, you can watch this later on our Facebook uh, page. So face paint comms, I think the handle. So you can go there if you want to see it again. And we're going to make some wrinkles in the nose. That's not the nose, the nose is down here. I'm just trying to outline a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here, okay. Making the dots randomly around. Okay. Take the black and I'm gonna outline the mouth. And I'm going to shade it out. Outline the teeth and shade it out. If anybody wants to know, I'm doing this very quickly, so I'm trying to feel time. I know, I know, you're under the gun. Yeah. Or have like three more looks. I don't know what. Yeah, I you're right. Ace says yellow is the best, uh, the best base color. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, for so sure. We're, yeah, definitely. All right, I, I did all that. Now we're going to highlight, okay? Always, I always highlight last. I'm sure a lot of people do. But taking a small round brush, and we're just going to highlight everywhere. Oh my goodness, three minutes. I'm having so much fun. Do you know your fingernails match the eyes? <laughs> oh, and, and my fingernails are neon too. There you go. Yeah, you know, when you, you see it at stores, Halloween time, you gotta buy it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna highlight the whole, whole thing here. And don't worry everybody, I am going to continue painting and, I, and maybe Blake will post it in the, maybe tomorrow or a later time. Yeah, yeah, sure. Send me an email, Zuri, and I'll, I'll take okay. care of it. Okay. And we're just going to highlight everywhere. And the most important part of this is the, the highlight for the eyes. And we're going to do one big dot and one little one. And can you believe the black is still wet? But one big dot and one little one. Mm-hmm. It's still wet. Oh, you get the gist. Okay. Mm -hmm. One big dot. One little one right above the eye like that. Okay. All right. Well, this is it. I had a couple more. Do, do children are children really okay with you painting over their eyelids? Yeah. Just tell them to close their eyes. Yeah, just tell them to close their eyes. It's best if they're maybe seven and up because they understand it. Like, oh, I got something on my eyes, you know. But if you have to do what you gotta do, if not, you can make just the bottom eyes for little kids. Mm -hmm. still, still look very weird. All right, I, I don't know if I have time for another one, but nope, pretty, nope, okay. we do not. We have one minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. Oh, the link, the link for the uh, the contest. I, I promised that. So here, here we go. Um, okay, and in the chat window, there we go, mutant snake, that's a good way of putting it. Okay, yeah. well, thank you very much, everybody. I really appreciate your time, and, uh, you know, uh, keep face painting, and uh, visit, our, visit facepaint.com, and uh, we'll send you Zuri's, the rest of her designs later on. So Definitely. again, uh, we'll be doing this in like the next four days, the, the giveaway. So uh, if you want some free face paint, go sign up. Okay, great. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good evening. Uh, Thanks, Zuri. You're welcome. Thank you.